Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. My old friend and my old co-worker, Gary Steves, passed away last week. I first met Gary when we were both in our 30s. I met him at a union meeting in Terrace, and uh, Gary was addressing a room full of uh, young union activists, telling them that there was really no distinction between the importance of their union activism and their union goals and their political activity and engagement. It was obvious, I, as I watched him with some fascination, that Gary was a great maritime storyteller. He, uh, he had a way of communicating, and you could just tell that he loved people. Gary found a home in British Columbia and in the BC Government and Service Employees Union. And as I looked over many of the comments about Gary's passing that showed up on social media, it's obvious that so many people found him to be encouraging, to be engaging, he never talked down to union activists. He supported them, he gave them encouragement, his humor was always evident, and he always made all of us feel welcome. Gary and his wife Marina often opened their home to all kinds of people. I remember uh, being at their house years ago with, uh, with Larry Ganu, who was at the time the MLA for Atlan, and was preparing to do some remarks on amendments to the Labour Code, amendments that people in the Labour movement found uh, to be uh, taking away rights and opportunities uh, for working people. Larry wanted to understand what it meant in real terms, what it meant to workers on the shop floor, and Gary told exactly the kinds of stories that Larry could use in his bill debate. Gary was also well known for his commitment to labour history and his knowledge of labour history. He took people on walking tours, whether it was in Vancouver or in the Maritimes, and he told stories about the places and the people that made us appreciate the commitment, the sacrifice and the long history that was a building of a strong labour movement in British Columbia and elsewhere. It was a pleasure to work with Gary. It was a pleasure when I was president of the BCGEU to have Gary work with me. He was a central figure in creating an organizing culture in the BCGEU and in the BC labor movement. When Gary came to my office, he'd be filled with ideas and energy and with long-term plans. He brought excitement to his work and he gave the benefits and rights of union representation to literally thousands of working people in British Columbia. When he retired, he went on to work as an island trustee, and in that role, he fought for environmental issues, he fought for community health issues and was engaged, and he helped resolve a number of community differences and disputes. Gary will be missed by everyone who knew him, not just in the labor movement, but in the communities in which he lived, and the ferries in which he met and talked to people. My condolences to his family, to his wife, Marina, to all of his many friends and colleagues, and to those he helped and mentored, and to all of those who may have never met him, but who benefit in their daily working life from the work that Gary gave all of us. Thank you.